Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to do a quick cook of a couple of steaks. Uh, the wife, I remember I showed you guys this, this picture here. The wife had bought me a, a, a package of steaks and stuff from, uh, from the Omaha Steak Company. And so today we're going to cook a couple of the uh, beef tenderloin steaks or the filet mignon. And uh, here's a couple of them right here. So this is what we're going to be cooking today. Now we're going to be doing a simple quick cook. We're going to be seasoning these bad boys with a little kosher salt, a little cracked black pepper, with a little olive oil on top of them. And we're going to be cooking them on a chimney. Now I've seen guys do this before. I hadn't done it yet. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put a, a charcoal on the chimney. I'm going to get the temperature up. And I'm going to try to uh, cook these bad boys, uh, you know, a couple of minutes on each side until I can try to reach 130 degrees internal temperature for that medium rare um, experience okay so hey uh, uh, we're going to be using uh, Kingsford charcoal today and uh, we're going to be using one of the quick lit briquettes to light them up and uh, I'm not sure yet if I want to use the uh, barbecue dragon to blow a lot of uh, air on here I may set that up in order to uh, get the fire raging hot so that we can get these cooked uh, hot on the outside but you know perfectly medium rare on the inside. So hey, hang around, we'll do the short prep work and it's cook, and we'll do a taste test afterwards and we'll see how close we can get to the perfect steak temperature. So hey, don't go nowhere. All right, guys, so that's it. Quick cook. Um, the fire in the chimney, even with the dragon, didn't quite get as hot as I wanted it to. Um, but so it took me about three minutes per side, I think, to get close to the 130 degree internal temperature that I wanted. Uh, but the dragon does add some air to your chimney so you can get a faster fire. Um, but it smells great. And um, they both temped out at 130. One temped out a little bit higher, 140, 47. So that's going to be more on the on the uh, medium side, um, uh, medium well maybe. So mm. my brother turned me on to these. These are the oh man, I'm wasting stuff everywhere. Look at that. Oh man. Oh well, it's that summer shandy. So anyway, let me clean this up right quick. And uh, we'll get back to the taste test. Okay, we're back after cleaning up a little bit of this uh, beer that flowed everywhere. This is a, a Lynn, Lynn Lugel's Summer Shandy. It's got kind of a lemony flavor to it. so like a lemony beer, so it's not too bad. So, All right, so this steak here came off and it temped at 130. This one here temped at a higher temp of uh, like 147. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut into these bad boys. They've both been resting for about... Uh, 10 minutes or so. So we're gonna go ahead and cut into this one and see what we got, okay? Hey, that don't look too bad at all. Matter of fact, I think we right on time with this one. Oh yeah. 
So I guess I timed that right. Three minutes per side. Flipping it a little bit. Let it set up on one side for about two minutes. Flipped over another two minutes. And then I went on ahead and uh, played with a minute more on each side. So, so it looks like it's uh, a medium rare. Let's go ahead and taste this one. Juicy, tender, mm. flavorful, very good. And I thought I was going to lose a lot of the the uh, rare area, the, or the the, uh, the medium rare area, but searing it like that real fast got us up to temp, and then I have a very very uh, small loss of lines. Right, it almost looked like it was uh, it was seared with one of those searsaws, whatever. But man, talk about it tastes good. Now let's move this one on the side, and then let's do the one that was a little bit deeper into the temp, okay? Now you can tell that this one's just a little bit more done than the previous one. However, now this filet mignon, man, cooked well, medium well, too. Oh, I'm sorry, medium rare, too. So... We both hit we hit our target temperature not too bad, but I can tell that this one's just a little bit rarer than this one here. But this one here looks great also. Let's go ahead and taste this. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, very good. Mm. Well, that was it. Quick cook from Bad Beast Barbecue. I had never cooked a steak or anything over a chimney full of charcoals. Saw a couple of guys doing it online. I had to try it myself. It seems like it's a great way to cook something if you don't want to break out the Weber or break out the big pit barrel or any of the big cookers and you just want to do a quick steak. Uh, throw you a few charcoals in a chimney and uh, let them get white hot and then go ahead and throw your steak on there for a couple of minutes on each side and get it to medium rare or wherever you want to get it to, okay? These came out great. I'm going to knock these steaks out with a little summer shanty and sit back and relax and enjoy the afternoon. So, hey, thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, I'll put the uh, links to everything that we used in the video down in the description block. So, hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Whew. And then like have a couple pieces of filet mignon to make the afternoon go very, very well. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Damn, that's good.